guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I have found a very, very special location, actually a serene park because boy, oh boy, look what we have here. This is a 2020 Aston Martin Vantage. But before we dive into this new Vantage, let's talk about the history of this vehicle. So it all started back in 1962. That's when the Aston Martin Vantage was actually the top entry level into the Aston Martin brand. Since 2005, Aston Martin has kind of reworked their image, reworked their lineup, and now the Aston Martin Vantage is that gateway. If you want to get behind the wheel of this iconic British brand, the Vantage, Vantage is the most inexpensive out of their whole lineup. Now, don't look at that as being a bad thing. The great news is, is that there's going to be a lot of performance especially for the money and styling that totally separates it. Now, Aston Martin being that iconic British brand has really cut their teeth over the years on racetracks around the world, including the coveted 24 Hours Le Mans, which guess what? They won back in 1959 with none other than Carroll Shelby as one of their drivers. But one thing is for certain, some changes that they made recently over the past couple of years and some updates are really making this Vantage a direct competitor to the C8 Corvette, Acura NSX, Porsche 911, Ferrari F8 Tributo, and all the other performance supercars that are in existence today. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this Lime Essence. That's what they call that color, Lime Essence 2020 Vantage, and see really, is it the best performance for the money? Right off the bat, the styling. I love the shape. I love the lines. They did a great job with the headlight housing. So super slim, even though this nose of this vehicle, remember this is a front mid engine. I'm gonna talk more about what that means in a second, but you have these really, really slim headlight housings, full LED. The way they blacked everything out makes it look extra perfect. It just pops nicely with the color. You can see how the LED headlights, daytime running lamps, and turn singles are all integrated. We drop down, no vents or anything like that. You're gonna get this massive front splitter. This thing is so big that Victor and I are actually gonna eat our lunch. As soon as we're done here at the park, we're gonna have our picnic basket lunch and eat it on this front splitter. Everything gloss black. Now, as I come across the nose, I wanna point out a few things here. When it comes to brand identity and styling, if you notice the shape of the grill, and if you follow my finger, the way that that opening is shaped that is a brand identifier of aston martin if you go all the way back to the early years even 1959 with that 24 hour Mans win that is what you're going to be seeing with that overall shape or how about james bond the iconic movie series goldfinger one of my favorites you could see that on james bond's db5 aston martin love the nice wire mesh the way it extends out super clean from one side to the other all the venting is taking place in the center and i think that really helps clean up the look and make it stand out from the rest of the crowd. Now there's your iconic Aston Martin ba badge with the British racing green. And just so you know, each of these are still hand painted to this day. Another little fun fact is that the factory, so the factory still races to this day. They race in the GTE Pro and GTE AM classes at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. This is their color of choice. They've moved away from British racing green and they've gone to this as their factory race color known as Lime Essence. You can see a nice rise in the hood. The way the hood is just so simplistic and just flows nicely into the front fascia. As we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. Now we have some options that have been checked off and this is one of those options. This textured gunmetal gray metallic 20 inch wheel. This is a forged aluminum wheel so it is lighter than cast and stronger. You can see your Aston Martin badge. And for 2020, we now have the availability of carbon ceramic rotors. So those are 16.1 inch rotors. That's bigger than the pizza that you ate. Yeah, you back there, that Domino's that you ate, that's larger than the pizza that you ate last night. Two piece rotor, Formula One technology, massive six piston calipers. Look at that with the beautiful Aston Martin badge. Some of the options on this particular car, are of course the wheels, the color, the black sport appearance package, these black calipers and those carbon ceramic rotors, but just absolutely stunning, really just balances well with all the brightness on the color of this vehicle. Now, as we go into the fender, one of my favorite parts is this actual fun functional vent. I'm gonna have Victor kind of swing it around and just showcase how far it kind of flares out there. Really, really super unique, 
super clean. You're gonna have gloss black on your mirror caps. We got a gloss black roof. The lines of this vehicle, the way it just flows from one side to the other, it's almost like I wanna hang this on my wall. It's, a, it's like a piece of artwork. They went really smart and went flat, flush with the door handles to open up the door. You just pull like this and watch the door. It actually swings up and out like a swan. Look at this, up and out and then back down nice and closed. You're gonna have that side sill extension. All of this is for air and aerodynamic flow to the rear. And besides the front, this is one of my favorite parts here. Look at this, look at the way this rear kind of flares out here. Now out back, you're gonna have 295 on your width. So you're gonna have a little bit wider rear, rear tire because this is rear wheel drive, still 20 inch, still 35 series sidewall, and still that carbon ceramic brake rotor setup to give you that optimum braking capability. You can't see it, but they actually have carbon fiber prop shafts and an electronic limited slip differential outback. Now, as we come around that beautiful fender, look, look at the line, oh my God, the line that comes off that door all the way to the rear, look at that. Just like the race car, really, really nice. What's fascinating is this is a hatchback. So as we drop down, this is gonna pop up and I'll show you that in a second, but as we drop down, I'm gonna kind of get out of the sun so you can see my face. If that's what you want to see, I'm sure you want to see the car. You're going to have LED taillights. Love the way they come. And I also think it's super smart. How nice is it to not have any pop-up spoilers or big wings? It's all built into the hatchback. You got your Aston Martin badging. These little bumperettes, this is DOT required here in the United States. So if you're in Europe, say you're in Germany or in England, you wouldn't have these necessarily. But this is something required by the DOT here in the United States. Love the quad tip exhaust, the gloss black. Look at how they painted. That's an option. The painted rear diffusers all the way across. Gonna help suck this car down to the ground. I would love to see this zooming down the Molson straight at the 24 hours of mile. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this Aston Martin. All right, guys, we got the hood pop, that massive clamshell hood. Of course, you have hydraulic hood struts. One thing I want to showcase underneath the hood, look at this. There's an actual air intake and I'll show you where this seals up. You got this foam. It's going to take cool air and bring it to the top of the engine where you have those twin turbos. Now, like I was mentioning earlier, this is a mid front engine. So the whole task of the engineers to take our front mid engine car is to get that weight as far to the center of the vehicle as possible. The reason why they call it front mid engine is because where that engine is sitting, the front axle is here, that's all the way back, so it's actually behind the front axle. Underneath that massive strut tower brace is an engine that's probably gonna look very familiar to you. Does anybody know what other car has that engine? Yes, you in the back. Yes, you're right. That is the same engine setup as the AMG, the Mercedes AMG GT. They worked a deal with AMG, and that's where you find that engine. Now, what I love about the Aston Martin is, first of all, you're gonna get adaptive dampers. You can see the wires going to the tops of the shock absorbers there. That massive brace there is just, looks like it's right off of the Le Mans race car. And then underneath that bracing is gonna be that twin turbocharged magic. So you're looking at a four liter twin turbocharged V8, 503 horsepower, 505 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to a transaxle, a ZF eight-speed transaxle. What that means is the transmission is located at the back of the vehicle to help with that 50-50 weight distribution. You want performance? Open your ears and listen up. Zero to 60, 3.4 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna flash by at 11.6 at 123 miles an hour. And this car is just five miles per hour short of a top speed of 200. So if you do the math, 195 is your top speed. Like I mentioned earlier, you have that electronic limited slip differential. The car weighs 3,726 pounds. And with the carbon ceramic rotors for 2020, the vehicle is actually, that sheds 53 pounds of rotating weight. You have a revised master cylinder and brake booster, which is supposed to reduce pedal travel. And then those massive rotors, 16.1 inch rotors. Looking underneath the engine, you can see that these are hand built, just like the ones in the AMG GT. Super clean, looks like a race car. Let's go ahead though, let's fire up this Vantage and see if it sounds like a race car.
All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Aston Martin Vantage. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, this is one bad mamma jamma, and guess what? I would agree with you 100%. And you're probably saying, well, Joe, how much does this cost? Well, starting MSRP is $152,000. With a lot of the options that I've already mentioned, plus some that I will point out in here, you're looking at a price tag of $201,000. But let's see what you get for the money. To the door panel, if you like Alcantara, you have Alcantara everywhere. Beautiful stitch work, nice Alcantara. For an additional amount of money, you're gonna be getting the color accents in here. I like the way they took the Essence line, brought it to the interior, you got leather on the armrest. Even your door handle pull, it's just a strip of leather there. And then everything else is Alcantara. Small pocket for a couple British scones, since this is a British supercar. We come to the dash. What do we have? Yes, say it, Alcantara. I like the shape of the AC vents. The only thing I'm gonna zonk is they should be carbon fiber. They're just plastic. Now, when you get to the center stack here, look at how they took the eight inch infotainment system. They kind of just nestled it nicely within this Alcantara bed, the way the shape, everything integrates nicely. But wouldn't you agree with me that this would be nicer in carbon fiber? It's just all plastic and I wish that it had that extra nice touch. Now that's an eight inch infotainment system. You got Apple CarPlay and all that, which is great. It's a little dated. You can see where we are at at the park, but you know, it, the placement of it is actually really, really nice because to be honest with you, the dash is very, very high. Now I'm gonna throw it into reverse. There's our backup camera, super, super clear trajectory. You got your 360. I'm gonna put it back in the park and then we're gonna slide down here. Now this may look complicated at, at first, but let me walk you through it. You have heated seats, but no ventilated seats. Let me shut those off, I'm already sweating. So that's gonna be a zonk at this price tag. I would like ventilated seats. You have your dual climate control with your blower fan switch, door unlock and lock buttons, not on the door. So if you're gonna go pick up your hot date, don't look like a fool trying to unlock the door from your driver's side door. You actually do it right here. You got your interior lights, your start stop button looking really classy. And then here is your array of park, reverse, neutral and drive drops down this is all leather you get a nice direct drive control knob which is wonderful to control what's going on there you got your cameras which are which are great you could go out the front and everything work your way back you got a nice little leather palm rest let me show you on the side here here's all your seat controls so instead of putting them on the door like the mercedes products they put it over here and it actually is really easy to get to which is wonderful key fob tasteful key fob looks the part these actually glow in the dark so you can see when you're trying to get in i love the aston martin badge got some chrome i'm probably blinding you right now and some gloss black two simple cup holders alcantara more alcantara we open this guy up here's where you're going to put your race winning twinkies so the next time you beat a porsche you beat a c8 corvette line up those twinkies right there close it up and then seats absolutely stunning leather alcantara look at the embroidery look at that look at the way it comes down one thing I wish they would have done is just some yellow stitching. I think some lime essence stitching would have brought this whole seat alive. You could see the carpeted sill, very, very high sill. This is really race car-esque for this Aston Martin. I got plenty of headroom, and of course, you know what I'm gonna say, more Alcantara, and it's like a pussycat. You can just pet it, really, really nice. You could put on your helmet for your track day. Come on over though to the business end. I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Aston Martin Vantage. All right, guys, business time. Once you drop in, you can see the nice bolstering. The bolstering on the bottom isn't too bad. Good size dead pedal, and then there's your brake and your throttle. It would have been nice if they put some type of material, like metal material on the side so you don't rip up the carpet when you're doing your track day, going on throttle and off throttle. Steering wheel, though, right out of a Formula One race car or a Le Mans race car. You have a nice curved top, love the thickness and just how long it comes down, flat bottom, and then the paddles are metal and they're attached to the steering column instead of the steering wheel. So no matter where you turn the wheel, you're always gonna be able to hit the paddles. There's your dash, you got that beautiful digital display, really nicely set up. I could go into different modes. That opens up the active exhaust. You got track mode. You could even just adjust suspension. So you could do different suspension adjustments really, really easily done. But everything is right off the steering wheel. The windshield wiper stock is far away from any of the business end, but boy, oh boy, 
This thing is crazy. You can see just how high the dash is and how low I am. I feel like I'm ready for that Molson straight, but let's show you how usable this is as a grocery getter the next time you want to take your Aston Martin for a spin. All right, the interesting thing about this, guys, is that this is actually a hatchback. It looks like there's a trunk, but watch this. I'm going to pop the back. You're just going to lift this up. Look at all the usable space you have. You actually have 10 cubic feet of space, nice deep area. So if you need to convince your significant other, hey, honey, sweetie, uh, snuggle bear, pumpkin, I, I really would like an Aston Martin. And if the first letter that you're about to hear is n as in no, let them know that you're going to go get the groceries every single day for the rest of your life because you have the room. Here's another nice touch. They have uh, a nice little cubby area back here. And you see this place up here? This actually has a strut tower brace to stiffen up the back end of the car. They wrap it all in Alcantara with the leather. That's not only going to stiffen up. So we're stiffening up the front end, but also the back end. And then when you're ready to rock and roll, real simple, nice and light. But if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. We have the keys to this Vantage. Let's go take it for a spin. All right, guys, we are in the 2020 Aston Martin Vantage. Very, very special moment. I love sitting behind the wheel of this car. The height of the dash, it really makes you feel like you're in a race car. It really does. Having that front mid-engine V8, but enough of the chitter chatter. Let's go ahead and uh, do some on throttle. And I'm gonna try my hardest to be quiet. I know a lot of you wanna hear the engine noises and stuff, so I'm gonna try to zip it as much as I can. But uh, first gear, if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle! It's like you've seen the future and now you are the future. It is unbelievable how this vehicle gets the power to the ground, the feedback to the wheel. It's like I'm almost sitting on the rear axle so I can feel the traction and what the rear suspension is doing. Simply amazing. Yes, a C8 Corvette on paper is faster. Yes, there are other cars you could get for $201,000. But boy, oh boy, this Aston Martin checks off a lot of boxes. All right, guys, I'm ready to do a little bit more twisties. I don't know about you. Second gear, slow roll, on throttle. You got those 305s out back, a little bit more narrow tire up front, allows the quick steering, allows that planted feel. You hear the growl of that V8 and the way the boost, that bi-turbo system from AMG, the boost comes in so low in the rev range and you go all the way up to redline 7,000 RPM. There's not a lot, a whole lot I could zonk in here, and I don't think I'd really zonk much. I guess the infotainment system is is on the dated side, so I guess you could zonk that, but other than that, I'm really, really loving this car. Whew. Unbelievable, Aston Martin. They just do it a little differently. Wow. All right, guys, one thing I forgot to mention, you actually could get this car in a manual. It's the AMR Limited Edition. It's a seven-speed dogleg, but we have this wonderful ZF Eight-speed transaxle shifts so fast, but are you ready? On throttle, here we go, yeah! Oh my God, 
I'm telling you, the car just wants to dance. She wants to dance so balanced. Having the transaxle, having the engine so far back behind the front axle, I mean, it's an amazing piece of machinery. And the one thing that I love to do on Rady's Rides is share it all with you. It's not always necessarily, at least to me, about being the fastest. It's about having a balanced package, feeling confident, and especially having something unique. And this Vantage is definitely unique. Boy, oh boy, would that be a special thing to drive the seven speed with the dog leg seven speed transmission. Maybe one day, Vanessa, hopefully you're watching, Aston Martin will hook us up on Rady's Rides. All right, guys, once again, on throttle. saying that word that many times that's the kind of experience this car produces if you know what the heck you're doing and it is phenomenal with a capital ph unbelievable unbelievable all right guys here we go on throttle so fast so smooth the sound of that v8 it, it's it's just a it's a it's a symphony it's a it's a harmony that i can listen to every single day and i love just being able to share it with you guys all right guys one more time just for you first gear on throttle Orgasm. Oh, this car, the way every time you shift, the, the ignition just cuts for a nanosecond to allow that shift to happen. Sounds glorious. Watch Le Mans. Watch the 24 Hours Le Mans this year. Those onboard camera shots, that's what it feels like in this car. Especially with the way you're sitting extra low in here with the dash up so high. It really... It's a special feeling. It feels very, very unique in here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, guys, here we go. On throttle. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Brakes, suspension. Tuning the whole thing. It's a balanced package So glad to share it with you guys. We got to get back to our undisclosed location Or I'm never gonna give this car back to Aston Martin. So uh, we'll, we'll see you in a split second. All right guys It's been an amazing time with this Lime Essence 2020 Aston Martin Vantage Definitely want to thank Vanessa and everybody over at Aston Martin for allowing Rady's Rides access to this very very special vehicle Yes, I know that it has the German heart of the AMG GT, but I really think that it's there for a special reason because it transforms the Vantage into such a performance car. And at the price, I know, yes, $201,000,
definitely out of my price range, but what you're getting performance wise and what you're getting from a look standpoint and that wonderful, beautiful interior really, really showcases what Aston Martin's capable of. And you know what? To be able to go do a track day, take down those Porsches, take down the C8 Corvette, show your skills, this car will dance with you all day long. But if you want to keep seeing special cars like these on Razor Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Crown Vic out here in the sun. He's got a special hat on today, his Aston Martin hat he brought out today. Go figure. And here we are filming an Aston Martin. So thank you, Victor, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.